Mrs. Lata Jani Khan, the superstar's wife, said that I don't know Cat Bureau, I don't know Mr. Nahar. I think a photograph will speak thousand words instead of putting it, a photograph will speak itself what is what. You might, you must be seeing this, that Mrs. Lata Jani Khan has come here to Nahar house at St. Mary's Road, Arekula. She has visited several times and each time we have recorded the uh, minutes. You can very well see that she is sitting there and when we were taking the photograph she said, no Mr. Nahar, I will come near to you so that the, the photograph will come perfectly. So I am just showing. It is taken in the drawing hall of Nahar house. So this clearly states that what she has said is blunt and lie, which should not have been done. Number two, she said that I don't know Ad Bureau. Without knowing the Ad Bureau, nobody can give a guarantee of even 10 lakhs rupees. Imagine 33.6 crores is not a small amount, it's a huge amount which she has given. You can very well see the guarantee letter has been given on the 50 rupees term bond paper where she has written clearly stating that in case media one does not pay or fail to pay or do stop payment, I will do it myself direct to the, your account with a direct credit where she has mentioned this is for you which we are showing it. Number three, the cochineal rights when we have given, we have got the rights of Tamil Nadu as well as the satellite of Bhojpuri. But we came to know that they have already sold without our knowledge to Eros International which has come to the news which is and clearly a cheating and forgery case happens which we have already informed to the Commissioner of Police Chennai. And when we have funded as a post-production at the time when nobody was coming out, every bank was reluctant to give money. I was stunned that I said, Madam, you are such a big icon and Mrs. Lata Ajani can mean any bank will give. He says, no, Mr. Nahar, they don't even believe us. And I have asked few bankers here also, like Indian Bank, Indian Overseas Bank, SBI and all. They say no, it has come to us and we are now we have dropped the thing. <coughs> we have so many other authentic um, and, uh, proofs also, which we don't want to come across about that. But when the time comes, definitely we will show each and everything. I think I have just told you. I mean in a nutshell, so that you will come to know what is what. Rest up to you, my august uh, press friends. You have to tell me what steps I have to take further. The moment you stop paying the amount that you are assured, their entire agreement becomes invalid. It, it becomes null and void. Wait a minute, let me complete. That's point number one. Point number two, according to Rajinikant, they say that they have received only 10 crores for which they have paid. They have paid around, uh, I mean, 6.5 or 8 crores they have paid. That, that's what they say. And you have also acknowledged in your uh, you know, press brief on page number four. So the, my, my first question, the moment they did, you didn't pay the entire amount, the agreement becomes null and void. What do you say about that? Can I yeah. ask you a question? Now your first question is, if 10 crores was paid, then the entire document gets null and void. This is what is your question? Right. If you didn't pay the entire amount, the, the document gets the null and void. All right. Now, uh, you have to read the agreement. See the agreement wherein you will clearly understand there is a word which is used by uh, Media One Global Entertainment Limited and Lata Rajni Khan that they will ask the funds as and when they require. That is why they have used the words pro rata basis. There is nowhere a condition written that 20 crores should be paid. 
they were not sure whether they want 10 crores or 20 crores. Hence, even in the agreement it is written that they will be taking the money in two tranches of 10 crores each. And whenever they take such a money, the amount of 12%, which is a guaranteed share as post producers, will be given as pro rata basis. So that question of null and void is totally not there. Now your second question. First was about your giving 10 crores. The second question. Mrs. Lata Rajnikan has given a guarantee up to 33.60 crores. Now this guarantee consists of if you pay up to 30 crores, 12 percent is 3.6 crores. That is why it is given up to. Wongalukum media wonakum da contract. If Lata Rajnikan is one of the guarantors. If you media wonna take what is their response? We did not want to deal with Media One because we do not know who is Media One. We do not know Dr. Murli. He came and met us and he clearly told us that I am the front face of Lata Rajnikan. Now how do we believe this? So he showed us Form 32 where she was the director of Media One Global Entertainment Limited. Now he said that there were many payments which has to be made which we have not made. So she has resigned as director. But she is the person at the back end there who is doing all these things. I said, well, fine. Still, we will not give you. We can give you only and only if there is a guarantee from Rajnikan's family. So he said, in that case, I will ask Lata Rajnikan to give you the guarantee. Did you intimidate uh, uh, Lata Rajnikan, saying that I will go uh, for your name in the press? One minute. Whenever you want to bring out the truth, I do not think there is any spoilage of name. Uh, if you are happy when your name is flown high, you should also learn to give your commitments. And when the commitments are not honored, they, from the month of May, June, July, August, I can show you hundreds of documents, emails, uh, what not you ask, I will have reply for each and everything. She has been informed that she must make the payments. If you keep driving and driving, if you think that you will give a reason to evade the payment, say something to the media, it will not work. If I speak one thing, I will give you with documents. Otherwise, I will not speak. There are many more things which I can tell you. As you ask questions, I'll keep flowing the document list. There is full pack of documents. But why did you, knowing that, as a businessman, knowing that, why did you agree to fund for this project? When the bank itself is not ready, this is for... So all the financial questions will be handled only by me. All right. Now, when these two people came and asked us the money, we were told that it is a high-risk project. If it is a high-risk project, Mr. Naha, as a businessman, would put in money with all the detailed documentation. If it is a high risk project, then you will have to go with high returns on that. That is why initially, there were talks that they would go with 20% return, then at least 15% return, which the agency gets it, then at least they have negotiated and come for 12% of return. And you also made a complaint note with police. What is the status? Did they take the complaint? Yes, they have taken the complaint and uh, that also will come to light. See, what happens if you do a mistake? You can give 100 things to evade payment, but finally, truth only will triumph.